We're at your old home place. Give me a history of Tucker's and Hopewell and how you ended up out here. <laughs> well, I've been out here for 44 years. I moved out here after my great aunt passed away in 1978. This was the old homestead. In fact, it's known as the Lawrence Riley and Naomi Martin Farmstead, and it is eligible to be on the National Historic Register of Famous Places. So this piece of land and the surrounding area and the Tucker family has been an integral part of Anderson County history for decades. I would say so. You might say that I've learned from my family on how to give back. Tell me about your history with School District 5 and your education. I was always involved in some type of school activity. I was treasurer of the junior class and part of the Intergovernment Relations Committee but always participated uh, to some degree. I'd like to thank the teachers for what they do and what they've done for you because they have prepared you for your next role and that is going to be your future as you open a new door in the chapter of all of your lives. So I will say to the class of 2022, Congratulations, Godspeed, and go Jackets. When they informed you that, that this was gonna be bestowed upon you, what was your initial reaction? I was shocked. I had really forgotten. It, it was so special because my daughters did the nomination and my wife was a part of it. And knowing that my children and my wife care enough about me yeah. To put this in motion is, is indescribable, Paul. It's just, there are no words. For today's generation, having come up through Hannah, went to college, came out, got elected to the House, what advice, encouragement have you got for this new generation of young people coming around? I would just remind them that somebody has given them the basic tools the basic parameters from which they can add to, explore, be innovative. But along the way, you've got to give something back. And you, whether that's by public service, serving on a board of commission, volunteering for some charitable organization, giving back not only makes you a better person, but it makes us a better community for us to live in.